To start your quest for NCAA hoops in the Hoosier State, you first need to look toward West Lafayette. Even though they were bounced quickly from the Big Ten Tournament, Purdue's 21-8 overall record will earn them an at-large bid to the Big Dance. And Sharon Bursip's team will even get to play host to first and second round games at Mackey Arena. Yet to find the best women's Division I team in the state and maybe the nation, you have to head north to South Bend. Muffin McGraw's Notre Dame Fighting Irish finished their first ACC season a perfect 32-0, earning them a likely number one seed in their hopes of qualifying for their fourth straight Final Four and winning their first national title in 13 seasons. We've, we've risen to the challenge, you know, and we know that we're going to get everybody's best shot. We have that target on our back, but we, but we keep that chip on our shoulder. I think we know what we're capable of. Yet there would have been more saying that from the state of Indiana on the women's side if not for Saturday. Ball State had an impressive three-game winning streak in the MAC tournament before their big dance dreams were crushed by Akron, 79-68 in the title game in Cleveland. When they have a chance to calm down after this one um, and realize the big picture, of what they just did and how special they are for doing it. Um, I think they will appreciate the experience they just went on. DePaul is saying the same thing in their Division Three women's tournament. The Tigers went 30-2 after winning the national title in 2013, but saw their hopes for a repeat end at home in an 88-71 loss to Wisconsin Whitewater in the Elite Eight on Saturday night. A, a tough way to say goodbye to a a special team and a special group of seniors. Um, it's been quite a ride uh, just this season alone. And I'm so proud of how they've handled some of the pressures. We had an amazing season. We had some really great moments, some really ga great uh, games. And right now it doesn't feel like it, but reflecting later, it's going to be a great season to end our careers on, I think. And out of our four years here, we've done some incredible things.